Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the Self OS review. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. Now let's get down to it. Um, I left off at the login picture where you found a really cool picture online where you can post the URL. And that will be your login background. Now on the user part, Self OS comes preloaded with... Uh, let's see here, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's 14 preloaded um, profile pictures you can use. And sadly, there's no URL based pictures like this one that you can choose your own. So, you can just save these, uninstall. You can actually install programs on Silverlight. And how you can do this is you can go to the little lightning bolt, which is the start menu, and go to install program. You can install a uh, program that is located on the internet from a URL, say, like it's a CNET download or something. You can paste that URL in, and then you can uh, install that program from there without actually having to download it. Now, if you choose this one, you can uh, click this button right here. It will actually go to your original, uh, your original hard drive on your computer, not the Silverlight. Now, these programs that you are want to in want to install on Silverlight, they're in a Silverlight XAP format, so you have to find a uh, whole separate file type to install on here. This is kind of a huge downside. The forum option right here in the start menu, it just launches the web browser and goes to their very, really cool uh, forums that you can pull a sign up for. You can see that people really like this thing. And Silver OS has a built-in uh, uh, start search feature, just like in Vista and Windows 7. And um, you just search for anything, like say I wanted to look for the YouTube viewer. I get a search for it, and it will show up right here. Now these buttons look a lot like they do in Windows Vista, more more than seven. And this right here, this just ends the whole um, the whole Silverlight application and returns you back to your web browser. And the log off button, it just brings you back to the whole guest menu where you can have somebody else sign in or you can register for your own account where you can actually save your settings instead of just testing it with a guest account. Well, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed these three parts of this tutorial. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me. I'm always available. I will always try to get back to your comments. And you can comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And thanks for watching.